Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. I'm going to go through some facts on ALS, the symptoms and progression, some of the traditional therapies, and then we'll talk about stem cell therapy, do a deep dive into some of the research out there, and then I'll talk to you about our R3 Stem Cell International program for ALS. So what is ALS? Um, it's a fatal adult onset progressive disease of the nervous system affecting nerve cells in the spinal cord and brain. We don't have a cure right now for ALS. All too often doctors don't know why the disease occurs in specific individuals. It's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease in honor of the baseball player who developed it in the 1930s. Lou Gehrig played for the Yankees for over 15 years in the latter part of his career, he did develop ALS, um, and unfortunately, he passed away within just two years. What are the symptoms? Well, symptoms may include slurred speech, limb weakness, possibly muscle twitching. As the disease progresses, it can affect one's ability to eat, speak, and breathe. Typically, the symptoms do not cause pain. In the U.S., about 5,600 people are diagnosed with ALS each year. So the total is about 30,000 individuals at uh, any one point in time with the average age at diagnosis of 55. Now worldwide, um, the incidence is kind of close to the same. Europe's about double of the U.S., um, anywhere from 3 in 100,000 to 7 in 100,000. And in most other countries, it's about the same between those two. Half of those with ALS will live over three years. 25% will live uh, five years, and about 10% will live 10 years. So what are the causes of ALS? Well, unfortunately, we often don't know. It's not well understood. 10% have a hereditary component. The only environmental risk factor that has been shown definitively is smoking. There are many theories about potential causes, including mitochondrial dysfunction, free radical injury, autoimmune mechanisms, viral infection, uh, and other uh, theories. So diagnosing it is tough. It's not um, one specific test that, that gives a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, so ruling out other conditions is key, which may include a muscle biopsy, nerve conduction, spinal tap, etc. Conventional treatments uh, that exist and have been not very different for a long time are exercise, occupational therapy regimens, various braces and splints, customized wheelchairs, feeding tubes, uh, tracheostomy. Um, there are two FDA-approved medications. One is Reluzol, which has been around for the longest. Unfortunately, it only increases life expectancy by about three months. All right, stem cell therapy for ALS is truly the newest technology available. The way the stem cells work in the body um, are typically not by those stem cells turning into the patient's specialized cells, but by the following. Uh, paracrine interactions, which are cell-to-cell -cell communication, telling your body's own stem cells uh, and other cells to repair, regenerate tissue damage, and to protect uh, tissue degeneration, such as with uh, neurons. Uh, immune modulation, you know, with, with the immune system acting against itself and things like diabetes, um, theoretically in ALS, you know, it can help modulate those. And as we'll see in some studies, it can help increase life expectancy and slow down progression. Um, all chronic medical conditions have increased inflammation. The stem cells are very good at reducing that. There are some direct mechanisms. We don't understand those very well. And there's also a teamwork approach. I refer to it as a virtual orchestra of regenerative elements in the biologics that we use. Um, and the sum is much greater than the parts, which is you know, what comes out of an orchestra. Prior to stem cell therapy, there really has been no effective biologic to help with ALS in any true meaningful fashion. It's not a cure. Uh, stem cell therapy is not a cure usually for anything, but the goal is to slow down or halt progression. Um, we want to use stem cells to achieve a meaningful 
um, slowing down or halting of progression, which I would call um, a great outcome, with safe biologics that provide more benefit than risks. Only in those who are really a super responder are you going to see uh, recovery of um, some meaningful type, right? Um, some patients are non-responders. It doesn't matter how many stem cells you give. They're just not going to respond. Most fall into the medium response category, which is what you'll see here in, in the studies I show, which uh, our results have been very consistent with those. Um, here's the first study I wanted to show you, repeated intrathecal, which is into the spinal cord, stem cells for ALS. This was a Korean study, which randomized 64 patients. They got two intrathecal injections of a million stem cells per kilogram. No significant adverse events, and the stem cell group exhibited significantly greater functional stability at six months after treatment. I wish they would have gone to a year, but they only did it for six months. Here's a, uh, um, a kind of a literature review. Um, ALS pathogenesis and therapeutic approaches, they looked at stem cells and, and exosomes, which is what extracellular vesicles are. So what they were talking about in this, the paper is that stem cells can support motor neurons and surrounding cells, reducing inflammation, stimulating tissue regeneration, helping with the release of growth factors, which can help stimulate repair, they're exciting as they can facilitate neuron replacement. Uh, they can home into sites of damage and stimulate repair in those areas. The two main objectives of what we want to achieve are cellular replacement and protection of those neurons. And the beneficial effect of stem cells is most likely indirect, like I mentioned before, with paracrine activity, which is cell-to-cell -cell communication. Here's another review paper, Stem Cell Therapy for ALS out of China. Uh, currently available cell therapies take advantage of a variety of stem cells to modify uh, diseases, slow down or even halt the progression, possibly by providing protective factors to surrounding cells, modulating the immune system, reducing inflammation, maybe even replacing those injured cells. Okay. This was the first paper that looked at humans being treated with stem cells for ALS. This was nine patients back in 2007. They got between 7 million and 156 million stem cells each, intrathecal into the spinal cord, and they followed these patients for four years. They only gave them the one stem cell procedure. So four out of nine were very happy with the results. Three had actually passed away in those four years. Um, the four that were very happy showed a significant slowing down of the linear decline of the forced vital capacity and the functional scores. The results demonstrated that stem cells represent a good chance for stem cell-based therapy in ALS and that intraspinal injection is safe. So here's an Israeli study that had 12 patients, so not humongous numbers. Um, now what they showed is that they gave the procedure either intrathecal or intrathecal plus intramuscular. Close to 90% at three and six months defined, uh, they were defined as responders. Their progression rates slowed down significantly. Um, the results suggested that either one, intrathecal and intramuscular administration, is safe and provides indications of possible clinical benefits. All right, this is a study out of Poland with 67 patients, umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, the risk of death in patients versus the paired control group was decreased by 70%, but when they put that into real numbers, what they showed is that survival was double than uh, the control group. So 1,183 days versus 640 days. So the study showed encouraging results when it comes to Wharton's jelly, umbilical cord, stem cell administration, and every subgroup that they looked at. Um, treatment with MSCs, the stem cells, substantially reduced the rate of progression and doubled the survival. So here's a paper that had 64 patients. They got a million stem cells per kilogram. Um, a million stem cells per kilogram seems to be what a lot of these studies use over the years. Um, from our perspective, that's not enough. 
Uh, we tend to give patients more than that. It's very safe to do that. You can give a billion stem cells in one setting safely. We don't do that in one setting, but we do give upwards of a billion. At any rate, this was a study that separated groups into reluzole, which is that one of the FDA-approved medications, and reluzole plus mesenchymal stem cells. So they really didn't have any significant adverse events. Um, they had um, some joint pain briefly, some chills, fever, resolved within 24 hours. They did two repeated treatments of a million stem cells per kilogram. The decline in function was significantly reduced in the stem cell group compared to the control group, and they followed them up for six months. Um, the ALS FSRS is an outcome uh, questionnaire that looks at speech, salivation, swallowing, handwriting, walking, dressing, climbing stairs, breathing. In conclusion, the study provided evidence that two repeated intrathecal injections of stem cells are safe and effective in reducing the decline for at least six months. So I do want to mention that at R3 International, we don't use pluripotent stem cells, induced pluripotent or embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are the ones that come from aborted fetuses. Um, they can lead to problems like tumor and rejection. We've never used those. Um, if anyone suggests that you should have an embryonic stem cell therapy, you should run away. That can be more problematic than beneficial. We only use mesenchymal stem cells or hematopoietic stem cells. That's the way to go. Um, and that's where we've gotten um, pristine safety and excellent clinical outcomes. R3's international program has combined all the essentials for a first-rate program. We have expert doctors who've done many, many hundreds of procedures, dedicated patient concierge representatives, very safe biologics with extremely high cell counts and convenient locations. Um, outside the U.S., biologic culturing is allowed. Uh, it's called expansion, and we do that. Uh, we only work with labs that are accredited um, and have a pristine safety record. Uh, the quality assurance of our labs is more involved than that of the FDA. You're welcome to, to see the certificate of analysis of the stem cell processing and safety um, you know, prior to treatment. We do keep the cells to the fifth generation or less. We want to make sure they're pure and potent and viable and active um, so we don't culture them past the fifth generation. Um, we have a 95% plus viability of the cells. Um, our locations are only 20 minutes from the airport. We do provide transportation from the airport to the clinic and back. We have several options uh, for stem cell therapy for ALS. Um, what a patient needs is going to depend often on uh, where they are in the process of ALS, um, the weight, you know, things like that. Uh, our treatment starts at only $7,450. 100 million stem cells. This is umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. We will also provide at no additional charge 30 to 50 billion exosomes. This is a one-day therapy. Um, you'll get the, the treatment intrathecal as well as IV. There's an option for 200 million stem cells. Um, and once again, those are umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells plus 50 billion exosomes. Uh, we do this therapy over two to three days, once again, intrathecal and IV. We also have, we're the first in the world to offer the billion stem cell program. This involves um, either all umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells, or we also have um, an adipose autologous option too, so it'll be a combination, plus one to 200 billion exosomes are included. This is a one to two week program, um, and once again, it would be intrathecal and IV as well. R3 has been featured on every major media outlet. Um, we've won a lot of awards, 10 best companies of the year, 10 most innovative companies of the year. Um, and the process is very easy to get started. Give us a call on the US prefix, plus one, 888-988-0515. And you can visit us online at r3stem.com. 
We do have financing options for residents of the U.S. or Canada. Um, we also do some payment plans um, at R3 as well.